We are here in the craft room with Maria, everybody. And this is a great fun way to celebrate the love of reading and add a pop of color to your favorite books. This is so smart, Maria. Isn't it fun? So here's the thing. Everybody should be reading. I don't care if you're reading uh, just a fiction or a document. I mean, anything, anything real life, anything uh, that is fiction. Reading is so good, and we're encouraging Grant, my six-year-old, to start reading a little bit more. We're getting into some chapter Aww. books. My husband is a big bookworm. He okay. Reads all the time. Good so for him. We want to get him excited about it, and we're constantly, you know, flipping over pages as our bookmarks and losing where we're at. So I wanted to come up with a bookmark that would make him excited to read. I think it's great. What's more exciting than confetti? And I, you know, it's scientifically proven that confetti makes you happy. Is it true? No, I just made that up. Oh but my gosh, you had me. You should have said yes. <laughs> no, but I did. Someone want to call me out on that. It's Here's research. The thing. It makes me happy. You cannot not smile. If there's confetti, so that is what we're and entering into DIY. You know, today. if it's not glitter or cookies with Maria, it's confetti. Let's get right into it. What okay. are we going to start now? What are we starting with? Because this reminds me of my school days right here. This exactly. Guy. So these are called sheet protectors. You yeah. can see here it opens up like this, and it's see through because this is where you'd put like your you know reports or something in there okay. to make it look nice and pretty. But we're using it today actually to make our bookmarks. This is the the foundation of it. Okay, so, easy enough. Yep, and what I do here, this is just a piece of paper that I just kind of uh, used as my template okay. because I wanted to make a bunch of these because uh, you could use these to make a bunch of like, great gifts and things like that. So what I do here is I actually, so you can see here, let's, this is a good example. You can see it right on here. It's a little hard to see on the wood. See how it has these little dots in through here? Yes, I do. You can see I can kind of turn it up a little bit. So those dots uh, actually are what fuses the plastic together, and we are going to actually do that. Enter the fuse what? tool. This is really cool. So it's I a fuse need tool. one of these, it's Maria. It's very show me. exciting. So you can see here, um, and what it does is it actually spins, and um, what it is is it's hot. So if you ever see the wood burning tools that have the little uh, mm -hmm. letters on there, and you burn it into the wood, this is a very similar. So this actually comes off, you twist it off, this is very hot. Do not touch it if it's like this, you want it to be really um, cooled down before you remove it. But it comes with other things on there, you find it in the scrapbooking section of the craft supply store, because this is actually used for a lot of scrapbooking. And it's pretty darn cool. It's awesome, so it's very satisfying as you do this, so you line it up okay, to cool Okay, want me to hold it in place while you do it? Sure, okay. well, it might be a little challenging. Awkward. Okay, a little awkward, <laughs> but you know what? Really it works. Help. Okay, but here's the thing, you can use a ruler, uh, like on here as well. I've done this a number of times, so I've gotten a little used to it. Not too fast, not too slow. So what this does is it actually fuses the plastic together. It will not cut through the plastic. So you can see this is what we have here. It's got the little stamp. I see. So it is sealing the see? opening of the two sides of the plastic, but it's not actually cutting it. Exactly. So then you got to go in there with your scissors. Okay, we have good. our scissors here, and you can see here, You want if you're right or left-handed, you want this to be right here so you can actually see where you're cutting. For instance, if you cut it on the other yeah. way, you wouldn't be able to necessarily now, see Now, typically, it. these sheet protectors have one side uh, closed, one side yes. open. But but I know that you want this to have a nice uniform look all the way around. I do. Right? And okay. so, Cameron, if you wouldn't mind, can you see seal our bottom, so like, you yes. know, exactly like Cameron said, it's sealed, <laughs> it is sealed, but then uh, what you wanna do is actually seal it with this so that it looks the same. And oh, then man. after you do this, this Mine's is- Mine's all crooked. No, it's perfect. Okay, great. It's perfect, so then what you do, Cameron, uh, this is gonna be yours. I love I'm that I'm gonna cut tool. it down a little bit, take this, and okay. then we fill with the confetti. Now, how do you know how much confetti you wanna put in there? You just do it till you're happy. Okay. And so, no, you really could just- Bring you wanna, on the confetti. Here, you know what? Add yours in, I'm gonna add mine in. Oh, I'm gonna do a little bit of this and add a little bit more here, and I, it doesn't matter if you make a mess, because it's confetti, and it's supposed to be messy, and I actually right. have a solution for this What's as well. This? Oh, man. I'm, as you feel, I'm actually gonna jump forward. Okay, please do. Because I have one that's already done here, so you, you can see. You got me distracted. Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> I got my phone. Yes, you did. Okay, so this is the thing. You can see, this is how we want to do our top here. Take your fuse tool okay. and actually seal. I, why don't you do yours? Okay, so very looks, good. So you don't want to go right to the very top because you've got a whole other uh, little element to this, don't you? Yes. So I'm leaving a little space there. Is that correct? Yes, so leave a little space. Use a hole punch right here if we can see. There's a, a space right here. And then okay. what you want to do is you want to seal the top. So I'll take this from you. Okay. And all you do after that is just add your little... Uh, you can add a little tassel on Beautiful. there, a little pom-pom. You can see I have a bunch over here, but all you do is pop it in just like this. And Cameron, you can uh, use up all your extra confetti that fell on. So I'm gonna just put it here like this. I'm gonna gather all this spill up. I did this on it. purpose. Look at it, go and like this. You do that. I reused it, and this is a little placemat. 
Listen, anything that makes you happy to open up your book and continue reading is good by me, Maria. This is a genius idea. More information. You guys know where to go, hallmarkchannel.com.